This bronze bust, dedicated in 1977, overlooks the historic Chesapeake and Ohio Canal in Washington's Georgetown neighborhood. It commemorates the life and environmental legacy of William O. Douglas, longest serving justice in Supreme Court history, and a naturalist whose passion for the outdoors once led him to write an opinion, Sierra Club v. Morton, suggesting that trees have rights too. The monument honors Douglas for his role in saving the CNO Canal, one of America's earliest commercial thoroughfares. After the Washington Post in 1954 endorsed a planned highway that would have obliterated the canal's 185 mile long towpath, an indignant Justice Douglas invited the Post's editors to join him in hiking the full length of the path from Cumberland, Maryland to Georgetown. Setting the pace, the 55-year-old jurist left the editors in the dust. 50,000 onlookers cheered as the hiking party covered the last five miles into Georgetown by canal boat. The next day, the Post retracted its editorial, conceding Douglas's point about the value of preserving what he called a place not yet marred by the roar of wheels and the sound of horns. A generation passed. By the spring of 1977, the CNO Canal was a national park, enjoyed by millions of visitors each year. Retired from the court and confined to a wheelchair, an elderly Justice Douglas willed himself to attend the ceremony at which his wife Kathy unveiled Wendy Ross's remarkably lifelike sculpture. By God, the old man exclaimed as a covering sheet fell away, that's the face I shave every morning.